Hello everyone. In today's talk, I'm going to describe Contra. Contra is a system which can synthesize performance-aware routing protocols based on high-level policies. Modern applications send a lot of data over the network, and therefore it is important to support efficient routing protocols. Typically, we can think of three important goals. First, for performance, we need to support traffic engineering and therefore we may want to prefer least utilized path over the other path. Second, sometimes we may want to prefer certain types of routes, and therefore we need to support routing constraints. For example, we may want to tr route traffic through a series of middle boxes before they reach the destination. Third, the network conditions can change very fast, so we, may want to, we, we also need to adapt, uh, adapt to the network conditions very fast. For example, we may want to update path choices uh, as soon as possible after the network conditions change. However, existing works usually only cover some of the three goals, but not all of them. For example, Hula and Kanga focus on traffic engineering and fast adaptation. They can do load balancing at long trip time time scales. For example, Hula uses P4 language to implement a data plane solution. However, they cannot support routing constraints, and they are not applicable to arbitrary topologies. On the other hand, another line of work focuses on traffic engineering and routing constraints. For example, Merlin can support path constraints in the form of regular expressions. However, because the traffic engineering of Merlin is implemented in control plane, it cannot adapt to the network conditions fast enough. So the key question is, can we have a single system which can support all the three goals? Considering a sender sending traffic to a receiver, it may want to avoid congestion, and it may also want to forward traffic through a firewall before it reaches the destination. Also, when the path with higher performance beco becomes available, we may also want to change the path. To achieve all these three sounds very challenging, but Contra can achieve all of them. At high level, Contra provides a language which can support a wide range of high level policies. And Contra also provides a compiler which will compile these policies into switch programs. And at around time, these switch programs will, will implement performance-aware routing protocols, which can run entirely in the data plane. So uh, Contra can also adapt to the network conditions very fast. So far, I have introduced the motivation of performance-aware routing. Next, I will further introduce how Contra works in the rest of this talk. To see a concrete example of what Contra can support, let's consider this network topology, where we have two goals in the policy. One is waypointing, the other is load, ba load balancing. For waypointing, we may want to restrict traffic uh, to be forwarded along a path with F1 or a path with F2, but not any other path. And in the meantime, we also want to do load balancing uh, between these two feasible paths. To do this in Contra, we can simply write down three lines of policies. In the Contra language, there are two important components. One is the path constraints, where users can use regular expressions to specify type of path. Second is path, uh, is path performance matrix. In this example, user, user uses path utilization to implement load balancing. Here is the language syntax of Contra. Uh, the, the details of syntax are not important, but you can see that a policy actually maps paths to, ranking, to ranks based on their performance matrix. With this language, Contra can support many useful policies. For example, user can simply write down path.len to specify a shortest path policy, or path.util to specify a least utilized path policy. Even more, user can write down path.len, comma, path.util to specify a widest, shortest path policy, which will basically select the shortest path first 
And then, among all the shortest paths, it will pick the least utilized path. With regular expressions, we can even specify different metrics for different types of paths. You can find more examples and di discussions in our paper. Next, I will introduce the compilation process of Contra. So first, Contra will generate the automata from the regular expressions in the policies. And then it will merge the automata with the topology into an intermediate representation. After all this policy analysis, Contra can finally define the routing protocols based on the intermediate representation and synthesize P4 programs which will track the policy state at runtime. To see a concrete example, let's consider this policy. So first, Contra generate the automata from regular expressions in the policy, and then merge it with network topology into an intermediate representation, which we call product graph. The idea of product graph is borrowed from an existing work, Merlin, which I briefly mentioned before. Basically, product graph encodes the, the policy information from automata and the information of topology. A good property of, control, uh, of product graph is every product graph path is a policy compliant path on the network topology. And with this property, we can now define a routing protocol without violating any path constraints. So first, every node will send out a probe to the other node and then the props will carry the performance matrix, which will update the forwarding table so that the switch can remember the best next hub to, the, to a destination and the corresponding matrix. So that the source node can finally send the traffic along the best path based on these tables. Basically, what I described here is just a distance vector protocol, except it is conducted on the product graph. Next, we also need to ensure the generated switch implementation follows the product graph, and therefore, it, we can ensure the discover paths are always policy compliant. To do this, we need to encode the product graph into the tables on the switches. Notice, it is possible that we have multiple product graph states for a single switch, so we need to combine the forwarding table into one table on the switch, so that the switch can now use this table to take the packets accordingly. For example, a path A1, B1, D0 corresponds to a path A, B, D on the network topology. So when the traffic comes in from node A to node B, node B will be able to look up the table and then update the product graph tags accordingly. And therefore, we can ensure that every packet follows, is forwarded following the product graph. Let's see a simple example with a policy, least utilized path over a structured topology. Notice all paths are policy compliant, and, and therefore, no path, we don't have any path constraints. So first, we send out a probe from the destination node to the source node. And along the path, the probes will carry the performance, performance matrix and update the forwarding table so that the source node can send the traffic along the best path. Actually, in this particular scenario, Contra will generate a routing protocol which is very similar to an existing work we call, uh, called Hula, which I, uh, I also briefly mentioned before. However, there are some important differences. Hula is specifically designed for this policy and this topology. But Contra can be programmed to target a wide range of scenarios. Both, Contra, both the generated protocols of Contra and Hula are implemented in P4 and therefore in data plane. So we can support a dynamic matrix. But because of the generality of Contra, we also need to deal with several challenges when we want to support changing matrix. For example, uh, on this network topology at time one, we may use one path, but at time two, the, best, the path may change to the another path because the network conditions change. 
and between these two times, it is possible that we combine partial paths into a routing loop. And one reason behind this is because the probe can require some time to be propagated so that uh, it creates a, an asynchronous views across different switches. And this will create some transient loops. This problem is com a common problem of, of distance vector protocols uh, over uh, arbitrary topologies. Notice that Hula does not have this problem because it is designed for a, for a structured topology. So we deal with this problem uh, by borrowing ideas from existing work. So we use sequence numbers to distinguish probes from different runs. And therefore, we can avoid the switches from using out-of-date information from the, from the old probes. And therefore, we can mitigate the loops. Another problem uh, created by changing matrix is out-of-order delivery. Considering a sender and a receiver, there might be several multiple paths. And when the sender wants to send a flow across the network, the packets may use different routes. And then they might arrive at a receiver out of order. To avoid this, we borrow ideas from existing work and group packets in the same flow into flowlets when the packets are close to each other in time. And then we use flowlet switching table to pin the packets along the same path so that we can also avoid reordering. However, a traditional flawless switching can create policy violations. The main reason behind this is the flawless entries can expire at different times across different switches. Considering this network topology uh, where we are restricted to two paths, one is the upper path, the other is the, the lower path and we are not allowed to forward traffic along a zigzag path. Let's assume at time one, the best path is the upper path, and the, forwarding the flawless switching table will pin the packets along the upper path. And then at time two, the best path changes to the lower path, and it is possible the source node picks a different route for the new flawless, but the middle switch still pin the packet along the upper path. So together, they create a policy violation. To deal with this, we propose policy-aware flawless switching, which will extend the flawless switching table with an additional column, product graph state, so that we can also track the product graph state in the flawless switching mechanism. Contra also deal with many other challenges, uh, including mitigating view inconsistency, detecting failures, supporting multiple metrics, and breaking remaining transient loops. You can see more details in our papers. Next, I will show you the evaluation for Contra. We built a prototype of Contra and conducted experiments on NHC emulation, uh, simulation and mini-net emulation. We tried several types of topologies, including Fate Tree and, and Abelan as an example of arbitrary topologies. To understand the scalability of Contra, we measure the compilation time when Contra compiled policies on Fate Trees with different size. And therefore, lower is better. We tried three policies with different complexities, and we can finish all of them in just a few seconds. The, notice that the whole compilation process is run before the deployment, and therefore it is not in critical path. We also evaluate the performance of Contra against handcrafted solutions. On Fate Tree, there are two scenarios. One is symmetric Fate Tree where there is no link failure. The other is a symmetric Fate Tree where we fail one link. We use flow completion time as the performance metric, so lower is better. The first baseline is ECMP, which basically will randomly select paths uh, for every flow. So it is a performance oblivious load balancing. And the second baseline is HULA, which hard codes a least utilized policy in the data plane. And our solution, Contra, implements a HULA-like policy. Both Contra and HULA can outperform ECMP because they are performance-aware routing protocols. 
and notice that uh, the, the improvement is more significant when workload is higher and when we use a symmetric phase tree. Uh, notice that Contra is competitive with these handcrafted solutions, Hula, in both cases. We also evaluate the performance of Contra uh, on arbitrary topologies. We also use flow computation time here, but we cannot use the same baseline uh, because ECMP and Hula only work for structured network topology. So we try shortest paths instead, uh, which will which will not do any load balancing, and span, which will pre-compute the path, and then at the runtime, it will randomly select the path. So basically, span is also a static load balancing, just like ECMP. And our solution, Contra, implements a least utilized policy for this topology, and outperforms span and shortest path. Another important question is, uh, how effective can Contra mitigate loops? So we try this to utilize path policy over a phase tree topology and measure the percentage of packets that traverse the shortest path, the non-shortest path, and the loops. We found out that most of the packets are using shortest path, and some of the packets use non-shortest path. This is expected because uh, the policy itself actually will prefer path with lower congestion, even when it is longer path. Transient loops do exist, but they are very rare. This shows that Contra can mitigate the loop effectively. Uh, notice that the loops are transient, so the packets are not will not be caught in the loops permanently. I have shown you three experiments. You can find more interesting results in our paper. In conclusion, I have introduced the motivation of performance-aware routing and how Contra address the goals of, the, of them. And Contra is programmable, general, and responsive. Our evaluation shows that Contra is competitive with handcrafted solutions and can support many useful policies. And generated protocol will, can run entirely in a data plane. Thank you for your attention. I am happy to take any question. Thank you for the presentation. Uh, so I have uh, two questions, but I take one and then <laughs> into the second. Um, so I see that you use finite automata to actually yes. uh, simulate. So have you simulated the actual routing table, or you actually uh, simulated the flow, uh, whatever it goes? And the, um, for example, you have in this node con you have uh, two um, gateways, and then based on that you you simulated because if it's Basically, I'm looking for the scalability if you simulated each flow and uh, trying to do a transition uh, state for the each flow, how the methodology was. I see. So the routing table is for is per destination. So for each destination, we, it's just like a normal distance vector protocol. So for each destination, we have the, the performance matrix and the, the best next half, just next half. So it's a local, local local information of the, of the path. And then uh, for each flow, we do need a flow rate table. But that, that can be uh, limited based on our requirement. So we can flush the, the out of date entries. So, so your flow was basically the, uh, was IP based, wasn't uh, based on any uh, pack, uh, ports or, uh, or protocol? Was it only based on the destination of the uh, IP? For now, yes, our implementation used IP based. Okay, and for discovering the, the, the network, was it a graph theory to discover the network or uh, like, uh, were you aware of the, how the network looks like before or used some graph theory or something just to discover the network? Oh, uh, the topology is uh, an input of our, our oh, system. Okay, so it's yeah. already known. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay. Hi, have you given any thought to how you would gracefully evolve a Contra program so that you don't have to shut the whole network down, install the new program and start it up again? Yes, uh, the whole compilation process is done before the deployment. So it will, uh, we, we and, need to... And so I changed one line in my Contra program, what happens? Yeah, yeah, you need to reinstall the whole switch programs when, when you recompile the policies. And so we need to shut down the network and then put everything back on. So you haven't given any thought to incremental looking at how, you yeah. know, how you could incrementally, you know, update uh, 
the, the compiled version and the switches. Yeah, I agree that that is an interesting future work. And yeah, but for now, the, the current system does not support this. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Okay, let's thank our speaker again.